Good morning. My name is Pastor C. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Wherever you may be sitting, driving, perhaps preparing for breakfast or eating, I ask of you to please join me. Let us indulge in the Word of God together this morning. The theme for the message this morning is spiritual awakening. There are times that we are dormant. There are times that we are too relaxed. There are times that we do not take our spiritual life seriously. We are not indulging in prayers or devotion. We do not occupy our environment. We worship to the Lord Almighty. We do not pray often as we did. We are slack, perhaps because of the heavy load of work. But I am here to tell you that do not wait until you are heavily burdened with spiritual issue. Do not wait until the enemies attack. Do not wait until you have the nightmare or the bad dream. Do not wait until you have that presence of a foul spirit in an attack or in a vision. But rather, you must be awakened all the time spiritually. Spiritual awakening must always be part of a, a Christian lifestyle. Not when we are in danger. Not when we are having nightmare. And so let us read from the book of Matthew chapter 12, for, starting with verse 43. The Bible says that when an impure spirit or unclean spirit leaves a man or leaves a man's house or dwelling, that spirit goes all around or through an arrayed place or places seeking for rest. And it finds no rest because in that arrayed place there is drought, there is um, emptiness, nothing to occupy. That spirit has nothing to occupy. The spirit needs a host to occupy, to bring about evilness or to, create, to cause that person to become evil. When it occupies you, it either it destroys you or use you for its purpose. The evil spirit I'm talking about. But the Bible says when it departs because of prayer, because of uh, fasting, because of someone intervening with prayer on your behalf, on our behalf, and it goes out away from you, from your space, from your, your, your soul, and it leaves a room around and, and seeking rest and finds nowhere to go. And it turns around and says, let me go back to the house I left. Because it remember the joy or it remember the damage it caused in that house. And he said, let me go back to the house I left. And the Bible said, it comes back to the house, finds the house unoccupied, unoccupied with prayers and devotion to the Most High God, unoccupied with fasting, unoccupied with worship, unoccupied with reading your Bible, unoccupied with, with nothing righteous, but rather it comes in and finds that the place is swept and clean and unoccupied. And he said to himself, let me come back into it. But this time around, it comes back to that place or that house with seven spirit more greater than itself. And the Bible says when that happens, the state of that person, that man, that woman, that child, it becomes worse than it was. Spiritual awakening, we must always be alive. We must always be awakened in our worship. We must always be in tune in the things of God. We must not slack or relax. Because you see, the, the Bible says the devil, our adversary, he roams around looking for soul or someone to devour. He came to still kill and destroy. He's never at rest. But we as believers or we as children of God, we quick to be content. We quick to be relaxed. When the Lord gave us breakthrough, we do not use that breakthrough to, to, to worship more. We do not use that breakthrough to, to occupy the environment with service or prayer meeting to the Most High God, intense giving. Rather, we become relaxed. We forget where we came from when we're in danger. We forget that place of sorrow or depression. We forget the burden that we carried before that breakthrough set in. But the Bible says when the unclean spirit enters back into our forts or into our courts, it brings back a stronger spirit seven times more than itself. And our state of mind or our, our situation becomes worse. I am here to tell you to, to, to revive Rise up in the morning at the 2 hour, 2 a.m. Wake up at the 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 12 midnight, and be in prayers. Sing, sing, and, and glorify the Most High God. When you do that, 
when you worship, when you take up, when you use your space for worship, what it does is that it alerts the enemy that you are the child of God. You are marked by the blood and it has no space to come in. In fact, through your worship, the enemy will flee from you. At the mention of the name of Jesus, they will flee from you. They will bow down to thy name. At the mention of the name of Jesus and in pleading the blood of Jesus in your environment, you are able to rebuke and cause that spirit not to come around you. I am here to tell you, wake up. Do not be too content. Do not slack. Do not relax. Do not backslide. Always remain devoted to God. Use your space, your environment.